So this is a, another issue of follow the elephant in the shop. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about our trailer today. We finally started on the trailer. The bike still needs to be rebuilt. And this bike and all these parts, well, these parts need to be powder coated. The bike still needs to be rebuilt. So we still have some work to do. But we started on trailer, uh, which is an integral part to what we're doing in our travels. Um, so to start off with, if you can kind of go sideways over here to check this out. This is our hitch. And this hitch mounts on these big plates up front here that you can see where my hand is, over here. And uh, these big plates, both bikes have the plates. And so we can actually move this trailer from one bike to the other bike, or if one bike's having problems, or for whatever reason, or someone's getting tired of hauling the trailer since it will add some weight. Um, and so uh, to start off with, you've got these hind joints up front and then this ladder structure. And the whole point of these hind joints up here is that these joints are your uh, vertical pivot, they're your horizontal uh, pivot point. And so the whole goal is that the part back here that attaches to the trailer will only allow the trailer to move this way. Well, obviously, if you're going up and down bumps or through streams or riverbeds or whatever we're going to encounter, the trailer also needs to move up and down. And so this allows this whole swing arm to move up and down quite a ways. It actually goes down a long ways, of course, but the, the table's here. Um, and so as you're riding along, when you're hitting bumps, this whole thing sits like this. And the whole goal of doing it this way, even though this thing is kind of heavy, is that um, this, this front, uh, I'm calling it the trailer swing arm, this front trailer swing arm is not connected directly to the ground via the axle bolts like a lot of single wheel trailers are. It's connected up here to the frame. The whole goal is that as we're going along, if we hit a big bump, this whole part of the bike is suspended with this shot here and of course the front suspension. And so when you hit a big bump, this wheel takes a lot of the force and that, that direct hit, that hard hit out of um, the frame and your body and obviously this pivot point. So this is a little softer um, as far as hitting big bumps and rough roads, corrugations, thing like, things like that. The whole goal was to make it stand up better. This is fairly thick tube. This thing probably weighs about 30 pounds itself. And uh, we trestled it just like um, a lot of single-sided swing arms on motorcycles would be trestled. If you look down the end, these bottom parts are not flush with these. They actually sit, if you're looking at this side, these actually sit outboard of this piece and it's trestled all the way through, trestled back in. And so this thing has stability obviously uh, this way because these two points take your load of your trailer, but it also has stability this way. If I push this sideways, you can see it's pretty stable. The whole bike's just moving. Um, and obviously that's important because we have a single wheel trailer. This thing actually has to take a lot of stress. It has to take a rotational stress here. It has to take up and down stress. And of course the trailer is mounted hard here, except it can pivot this way. So every bump, this has to stay parallel with it. Um, and then of course it has to take the forward backward stress of pulling and braking and all that. So it's a fairly heavy piece, um, but hopefully it'll hold up well. Um, it's fairly thick tubing here, thinner tubing and really thin tubing on the gussets. So let's go outside and we'll talk about the trailer. 